What did I teach today? Well, nothing, because the day hasn't started yet. This is yesterday's. Oh, already slacking on this. No, network was down. And I brought it home to do it last night, but there was no opportunity. There was always peeps around. So what did I teach? Second day of school. Huge 10 minutes reviewing what I did the previous day, because this needs to get into brains. You can reinvent yourself. You really can. Uh, I reestablished why I have them fill these in. Uh, I did have one student not fill this in yesterday, two days ago, whatever it may be now. Uh, but baby step habits, fill this in, take care of the little things of business, and then the big things start to fall into place. Baby steps. Again, atomic habits type stuff. Uh, but so I really emphasize this review. So for about 10 minutes, I hooted and hollered and screamed and whatever about this. Then what? All right. My note says, when you can read, it gets easier for you. And then I put a little by the it. And then I turned to the class and said, what? Questions should you be asking? And every class had at least one who said, what is it? It's it. What is it? Uh, <clears throat> School, if you can't read, school is a beating for you because you come into my class and you can't read and so it's hard. But then you go to science class and it's hard and you go to math class and it can be hard. And then you go to history and it's hard. Reading is a gift that keeps punishing if you don't do it well. It is very difficult to overcome not reading well. And so I introduced that concept to the students. But then I also went on to point out that a lot of jobs require reading and I did not dwell on it, but just bam, a lot of jobs. If you refuse to read, there's a lot of jobs that you're going to cut yourself out from. But there are also jobs you would say, well, I wouldn't want to do it anyways, I don't want to read. But they're not reading jobs, but they're jobs that require some reading. Uh, for example, military leadership you have to fill out an insane number of reports. A lot of business jobs that require dealing with people. Well, in a lot of cases, you have to fill out reports. And just those little things that don't dominate the job, but they're a part of it. If you are, I don't read, you're cutting yourself out from a huge world of potential work that you would enjoy. Next one. And this one I told them, and I, I rolled my eyes when I said it, but for those of you who struggle with reading, you don't want to now grow up, have kids, and have your kids go through the same thing you go through. You do not need to be an avid reader, but be a capable reader that the basics, you it doesn't bother you to read a book to your kid, to read chicka chicka boom boom. You're not going to turn to your kid and say, I don't read because sadly, you, a lot of my students have parents that at some point said, well, I don't read, and it got in their kids' heads. So don't put your kids through what you're going through. Uh, I did have one individual tell me, oh, I went through it, they can go through it too. Oh no. Uh, so <laughs> that is what I taught uh, in there. It, it, it's uh, important. Uh, one of the things I'm really going to work on over the next little while is really establishing a psychology to reading. Uh, as you'll see from what I'm covering today, by the way, I'll probably be wearing the same shirt when I make this next video. Uh, but yesterday was a uh, quick day in that regard. The uh, the assignment we did yesterday was a very passive assignment, but I played a song. I put up a music video and they watched it. It's an old song, but they watched it. And right at the very beginning of the video, as soon as the lead singer makes an appearance, I paused it and pointed out that almost every single student evaluated whether or not he was attractive. Now, at this point, a whole bunch of dudes went, no, 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 no. Not attractive is in you're thinking of dating them. But we automatically assess threat, we assess danger, we assess interest. And if a 
person has a look that we like, we're going to, ooh, that's kind of cool. Uh, if it would have been a certain entertainer, uh, a person who has dominated the charts as a very young male up until his present career, uh, students would be angry because they would instantly assess a threat level. Uh, almost all of this fellow's videos get huge amounts of dislikes because people just dislike this poor fella. Yeah, poor. Yeah, could buy me a billion times over. But we automatically assess these things. Uh, then I went through the video and I paused it constantly, pointing out things that the majority of them saw. And the reason I did this assignment with the music video was to indicate that you don't, when you're watching anything, a TV show, a music video, you don't pause it to say, okay, do I find this character attractive? Yes. What is it I need to see on the screen? Okay, there's this. No, our brain does it automatically. Now, if we're totally not familiar with what we're watching, it's tough for us to get involved because the content of it just isn't our thing, but just something like a three minute music video, the majority of my students paid attention this time. And that is not one of those, oh, my students really enjoyed it, that teachers love to say. And the students, if asked, would be like, oh no, that was awful. Yeah, no, 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 not one of those. But your brain automatically does these things. Well, why did you do this assignment? because I need to point out that that's what a reader's brain does as well. That when a reader reads, I don't have a book here. I guess I got one over there, but. They don't have to do that. It automatically registers. You just, you figure out what a character looks like. You get their defining characteristics. You follow the plot and you don't have to pause and interact with text as much. Your brain will do it automatically. Uh, and then the next lesson will be me going through a small article showing them how that works. All right, that's all. Bye.